Stroud last year. I know you people. You could lie and say you did. <laughs> you stuck it. And then anybody that comes to the disability is okay, the whole thing. Yeah, I'm kidding. I know some people did. Okay, okay. Yay. So, if you came here last year, it's pretty much the same thing. And it's going to be sort of like watching Piper Chapman sing on Orange of the New Black. <laughs> If you've seen it, if you don't, uh, you might not get the joke. But <laughs> it's going to be a little bit different because something new came out, but in a nutshell, pretty much the same. There you go. So, hi, I'm Ricky Pointer, and I am a deaf YouTuber, and I started out uh, on YouTube a couple of years ago. I first did makeup videos, and then after a couple of years, I got tired of it, and then decided to do something else, didn't know what I wanted to do, and then I decided as somebody who struggles with watching YouTube and understanding what's going on, I thought, okay, let's talk about the lack of captioning. And that started getting bigger and bigger, Tyro Oakley made videos, Cat Black made videos, and here we are. So you can say I can't get on for the fact that this is happening for a second year on the row. Thank you, I can go Hello. How are you? Okay. And I probably should have had that picture on here when I did it. <laughs> so today we're going to go over, first of all, don't mind my lack of pretty PowerPoint skills. I'm not good at that. Uh, we're going to go over things like why you should caption, what should be captioned, because that's a popular question that I get. Uh, why the auto captions are not the best solution the ways to caption and how you can and help with getting on board for bringing more awareness and what have you with the caption track. And then we'll maybe go with a question or something depending on how much time we have for the minutes and we'll be fine. Okay, so why you should caption? Because I know some people have asked, not really asked, but told me and told others, why are you doing this? Like, who cares? And the most popular thing is, well, I understand it, so I don't need it. But the fact is, they're not the only person in the world. And there are actually about 38, 48 million people that are deaf and hard of hearing, give or take. Every day the number is safe to change. But in a nutshell, a lot of people. And worldwide, about 642 million people-ish worldwide are deaf and hard And the most important thing is, because there's so many people, you would have the possibility of bringing them into your subscriber account. And we all love subscribers. <laughs> At the end of the day, we're all about that. No, we want to do what we love, but we also want people to recognize the work. We know. We can, we can lie all day, but we know. We know. <laughs> so, one thing is that I see a lot with uh, videos is even a couple of my friends do this. And They'll have the video up, and then they'll be like, okay, I don't have the time to do this right now, but uh, in the next couple of days to a week, we'll have the catch up. And honestly, to be 100% accessible, the best thing to do is to have the captions already ready to go before you mm -hmm. either upload the video or make it public instead of unlisted. I, I understand that not everybody can do that, but just know that the best thing to do is to get that ready to go before it goes live. Okay, so we have an activity, and uh, thank you YouTube for your beautiful thumbnails. <laughs> and we're gonna have to do this um, live, but it's the lip reading challenge. And those of you that came to the workshop yesterday and were in my uh, breakout group, I told you, if you tell anybody the answer, I will find you. <laughs> don't give anybody the answer. But it's, it's a very it's a short point, but about 40 seconds. And if you've seen uh, the No I Can't Relive video, mm -hmm. it's, uh, this one's going to be hopefully a little bit easier than the death girl by camera. But <laughs> it'll be, it's going to be one tactic instead of just a bunch of random words back to back to back. And what we're going to do is I'm going to play it once. And then uh, we're going to see if anybody can just guess the, at least the topic. I'm not going to expect anybody to get a word for word. But just guess what the main topic, the main person or thing would be about.
give you about 15 seconds while I vlog this for a little bit. Just maybe <laughs> try to see if you can figure out what the topic was. And then we're going to ask somebody, anybody. Are you on? Anybody, volunteers? I saw you, though. Okay. I, I think two-thirds of the way through, you said the word, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got. It's possible. I don't even remember if I did say that. <laughs> but, okay, somebody forgot the topic, the main topic. Somebody, just guess. I won't laugh. Okay, you good. You first presented a problem of some kind and then presented the solution or um, a commentary about it. So you don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> she was asking the topic. <laughs> you didn't say the topic. <laughs> <laughs> about face read. Uh, you been actually shocked about something? Oh, yeah. What's <laughs> 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 up, shocked? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, who was it? You. Uh, hey, uh, I, I want to say Snapchat or on social media, it's not true. Okay, we're going to tell you what it was. <laughs> and, th and thank you for not telling the answer to remember what the little workshop yesterday. <laughs> Actually, I was talking about the Hunger Games and Katniss Everdeen in chapter 6 or 7. Oh I don't God. remember. And when the explosion thing happens, if I recall correctly, it's been a few years. And then she loses her hearing in one of her ears. I, I uh, planned to make a video about it, and then I did it, and then it never went up, and then I thought, perfect opportunity. But yep, so, here's the thing. There, that's not how you fix that. But, there's a common misconception that people can read lips like a magical unicorn or something. <laughs> and if that was true, I would never have any problems in life. But, the fact is, that 30 to 40 percent of the English language can possibly be read on the left. So when you're watching uh, YouTube videos, and we know most of them are captioned, that is pretty much what it looks like. Move on. Okay, so what should be captioned? Because all the time I get questions that say, uh, should this be captioned? Should songs be captioned? Should blah, 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 be question. And question? <laughs> but basically, in a nutshell, if it's a video and it's on YouTube, yes, it should be captioned. People always go, but why do we want to caption a song? Yeah, people don't listen to music. Another misconception, we do. Fact is that, in general, a good amount of deaf people have a sort of hearing. So I can hear myself, I can't hear myself in the speaker, but I can hear myself talking out of my mouth. If somebody hits something near me, I'm more than likely going to hear it probably feel it more so, but the parties from last night heard people talking, but not necessarily what people are saying, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to de depend on each person because nobody is saying, but yes, music videos be captioned, yes, people will have the lyrics on the info box or the info box or, you know, you can Google it, but how many of you, if you're watching a music video, do you really want to go back between tabs, you know, you're missing part of the music video, or then you have to look down and scroll up, and it, 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 it's annoying, too much, too much to do. So, when you have the lyrics on there, you see it, and you can enjoy the video at the same time. But yes, anything, you got a web series happening here, my friend is gonna be ecstatic because it's on there. You know, just, if it's there, if you're saying something, Caption it. And even things like, say, if the door is closing, or if you're, somebody's banging on something, like knocking on the door, or just any random noises, yeah, caption it. Because it's, it's something that's important. You know, if this, let's see, what else am I thinking of? If there's a noise that helps the scene make sense, then they want to know. Over there, you know, put the little button on there 
if there are captains, I would not be asking this question. But most of the time, the captions that are on there look like this. So, for example, we have a great group video. It says, that always stuck with me, and that's my favorite piece of advice that bit. Sometimes our captions will be okay, but it, it, in the, at the end of the day, I think it's very, very end of the semester, so it doesn't really make that much sense. And I'm not, I don't really remember what that video was, but I think it was around the time when uh, he was going with us and sitting and stuff. And then we have uh, my friend Alexa. This was a uh, wig video. I, it's either uh, styling it, I think, or like straightening it or something. But that one says, leave Frank Oz, but into the style. It is just all videos lately you just want to. Good lord. Oh. And then, Lily Singh video, uh, my neighborhood, and this is a picture of the onion. Is that an onion? Does that look like an onion to you? I'm sorry, Lily. Really. And so we talked about growing. So apparently, you two think she's growing an onion. <laughs> I gotta tell her about that. That's funny how I think about it. But. And then uh, the last video of Claire Marshall, I, this was a video about her making um, beef and bob, a Korean style dish, and I don't really know exactly what it was, but so, and I recommend you, you use for 24 this, so I'm just drinking it, and then put it. Yeah, so, they're not gonna be 100% correct, so if you were to mute a video and then just put that on, you're gonna be very, very confused. But I'm not And the other captions, like I said, when you see uh, Jake's video, it's, it's kind of decent, you know, for the most part, there's a, a comprehensible sentence, but the last two words aren't very perfect. So, at the end of the day, you want real caption. Alright, so now we're going to go over the way to captain last year. Uh, I've shown the first two, and then uh, the crowdsourcing is a little bit of a different thing. And I should have flipped those pictures, but anyway. Okay, so first thing is the creative tools, and uh, that's basically what I use, and I think most of my friends do it themselves. I know probably use one of those. So, I guess the first one is uh, uh, just uploading a file, and that's uh, what I'm doing now since I've had to change the way that I capture it get somebody else to do it for me. But if you just say, okay, you open a notepad, <coughs> I think that's what it is, notepad, on a computer, you type everything, and then you save it as an SRT file, or a text file, it depends, and then just upload it, and then uh, it'll go through, wait for it to sink a little bit, and then you have to make sure when you uh, get to it, I don't even know if I have a picture. Let's see, did I? I probably should have done that. Let's see. Okay, I don't have a picture on there. But, okay, sorry. You know, look at all my bookmarks and find out the TV shows are going to be on to line it up a little bit because it's not always perfect so some things will be delayed a little bit or they will be delayed a lot. So after it's uh, all synced, you just edit it a little bit and then you'll see under the, uh, the video main of the thing, there'll be a little audio with about waveforms or something and then you just kind of move that around. There is a video on my channel, it's called the easiest ways to caption videos, I believe. And uh, it'll, it has a little demo. I might be able to play that, but I'm not sure if the Wi-Fi will work. We'll find out. So there's that. And then the second one is actually the one that I like doing now because I've had this bad book for a year. I still don't know how to do everything on it. But you just paste everything into that little box. You see, I have uh, the very first line that uh, is always in my video. It's a little intro music. And <coughs> You just paste it on there, or you can type whatever you prefer, and then just let it sync, and then just line up things all over again. Mm -hmm. Now, the one thing that people tell me when they do this, they go, oh my goodness, I just spent 30 minutes doing this. I accidentally hit backspace, and 
to actually add those captions if you're just a viewer. When you go to is it the CC button or is it the settings button thing? Uh, it's in settings. Okay. So if you were to like change the language or something, you click on that button and then it says uh, add manage or add something. It says let let people manage. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. So you just go on that and it'll say add you know da 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 and then you pick a language and then send it through. Now, a couple of people have asked me, well, what about troll comments? I worry about people, you know, maybe adding slurs or just adding random comments, which there's a rant about that coming later. But just know that you don't really have to worry about it as long as you check it. Because when it gets submitted, you have to actually read it to let it go through and, you know, publish it and da da da. So uh, there's been a couple of YouTubers that uh, do uh, fan contribution stuff now, which I love. I'm all for it because we know there's a lot of YouTubers that make pixie who pluck takes or makes videos, you know, every single day, which I don't know how he does it with a fancy camera and all. But, you know, it, it, there's no time, and I get so that that's why uh, the crowdsourcing is a good idea. But I've noticed, and a couple of other people have noticed, that sometimes people will add silly comments, like, not necessarily anything bad, or blue, but just, you know, make an awkward face, or lol, something, something, make some, some sort of joke here, which, I'm all for good jokes, jokes are great, you know, funny, it's funny, we like laughing, but the thing about it, captions is, it has to be relevant, and the captions are, what they're saying, that's what goes on, so if you want to, uh, they Casey trying to have a fan and stuff down the book uh, And then you want to uh, capture one of the dogs, please don't make random comments and then let that go through. But also YouTubers, make sure you read every single caption just to make sure. Yeah. And if it's in other languages and you don't know that language, paste it into Google Translate and then <laughs> kind of get the gist. Google Translate is a perfect but so far I haven't had any issues, just get the, the general idea. But if you aren't sure, then just don't, just don't accept it. It's better to be a little bit wary. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, what time was it? No, we'll have 30 minutes left over. So, here's the thing. So here's the big question. How, how can I help? People go on Tumblr, they're like, what can I do? to get videos to be captioned, blah, blah, blah. First of all, if you're a YouTuber, caption it. Duh. You caption it, get your friends to caption it, you know, just make, like I said, make sure it all makes sense, it's all clean, relevant, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and let's so you uh, tell people, you know, that why you need to do it. You know, there's this many people, why is it this shit? It helps people understand what's going on, da, da, da. You can do this by, let's say, you know, making your own videos. Uh, at the disability panel yesterday, when we did our little uh, breakout sessions, we talked about it. Some people, you know, even at BigCon, if you were to walk up and stuff, but yeah, then, you know, explain it to them a little bit. Or last year, uh, I went to the future creator list, and I sent emails to every single person that I could find an email for, and hand wrote some letters. I attempted to do all of them, I made it through it before I started purging really bad. But if you're someone that is into the whole pen paling thing and can really write and write and write, that always works if they got a PO box, you know, they have to actually open the letters and see what's inside. Emailing works, that's probably one of the best ways to do it, because I'll read it. Just make sure that it's not too long. I would keep it three paragraphs. At the most, you know, little introduction type of thing, you know, hi, this is so-and-so, uh, you should caption your video, you know, and then, let's see, well, fun facts, probably do it in like little bullet form, you know, keep it very just concise and to the point, so I know. And then have, you know, like links, like I have a couple of videos, um, obviously. <laughs> but uh, a couple weeks ago, I made, um, let's see. The so three ways to capture videos. I did that at uh, YouTube Next Up a couple of weeks ago. My friend over there who has made thank you for coming today, by the way. And um, that's the most recent video that I had. It's 
It's the same video as I made over and over, but it's much more to the point. Everything's updated with the crowdsourcing and all that. That's a good one to send. Um, you can link Tyler Oakley's video because everybody listens to Tyler Oakley. <laughs> And then, and that's why I said, you know, make your own videos. Because emailing works, but sometimes they can't always see it, and it's just one person at a time. But it, I feel like if you make your own video about it, it might get out to more people a lot faster. And people prefer watching YouTube than reading anyway. So, most of the time, most of the time. <laughs> I don't know, I like that. <laughs> and then, the other thing is, okay, so like I said, some people don't have a whole lot of time or they just don't want to do it, you know, the money. Tell them about the crowdsource catches. Uh, a couple of YouTubers have just started putting them on recently. And, you know, when they find out, oh, other people can, you know, do that. Okay, awesome. Just make sure you let them know that they have to actually look at it. It's just to be safe. And what's the other one that I didn't put on there? Oh, social media, you know, like Twitter or Instagram. If, you, if they got it, do it because the more places that you let them know, the easier that it's going to be. But at the end of the day, emails and videos to me would be best. Just, oh, oh well, it's still going to my computer was going off. Anyway, sorry. But if you go on Twitter, you know, like, it's going to be covered up very, very fast, especially if you go to the really big YouTubers. You go, hey, hey, close caption your videos, they get that notification, and there's probably 50 more coming right behind them. And that is, oh, I meant to delete that, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. I originally had a plan that we had to have a, a little perk somewhere around here. It was going to be like a little fridge, and it was going to have like hashtag, death cow, and all of that, but I couldn't get it done in time, so. That's what that was going to be. But, um, <laughs> but we can do a conclusion. Just ignore the text for it. The thing that says that, just ignore it. It never happened, okay? But, you know, before you go, just I want to say, you know, thank you. And, you know, thank you for coming. If you came here last year, thank you for coming again. Keep everything uh, that I said in mind. And now, I guess we're going to do, like, a questionnaire or something because we have a whole half hour left to do absolutely nothing. You spoke. Hi. Uh, so, you advocated for timely captioning but you're also talking about the crowdsource option. Is it possible to do the crowdsource option before it is public? I don't know yet. I'm totally clueless and hope to hear. If you leave your video as unlisted, as long as anybody has the link, when you uh, go to upload a video, you'll have the options, make it public, have it uh, unlisted, have it private, I think that's the only three options, but I should know that by now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you just, I always have uh, my videos unlisted first, and if I need something to happen, like I need it now, like Rev or the IMEG is like, going to do it for me in time, then it's, it's there, but it's sort of private, but uh, the only people that will see it, see it is whoever has the link. So if, say if, okay, my schedule is Monday and Thursday. So uh, I have, or I did have a couple videos pre-filmed. I went ahead and uploaded them, so you know it's the time. So say I need a video that's going up on Monday, on Sunday, I put it on Patreon for uh, people who have that perk and they can see it a day before. So I have it uploaded on Saturday morning and I asked Bob to uh, caption it. And I'm like, hey, can you, can you help me with these captions right now? He'd be like, okay, cool. And then I just send him the link and he'll still be able to see everything as well as if it was public. Hi, Ricky. So um, I also upload videos onto Facebook. So do you or anyone around here know how to embed captions on Facebook videos?
connection code that I lived through how we're putting on there the first time. Uh, there is a link somewhere to uh, download the caption into an SRT file. And then when you want to put it on Facebook, uh, I don't know what it is exactly. You're going to have to Google it, like how to hack out just on Facebook or something. And uh, there's the file name on uh, has, uh, for Facebook has to be a very specific name. You can like type whatever you want, like puppy the kitten video dot like ed underscore something. Like the, se the second half of the Facebook file has to be a specific thing. But uh, mm -hmm. it's kind of the same thing as YouTube, just it has to be the first option in the SRT file, and then let that go. And it'll already, it already be timed up. Can you talk about some of the solutions you uh, help creators come up with uh, for captioning their videos? Can you go more to do, Toba? Uh, I mean, Fuzzy, what did I do? <laughs> like Good Mythical Morning and Rocky Jumbo. Oh, right, 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 right. I remember. I was, I'm supposed to have a, I'm supposed to meet with Rocky Jumbo, wasn't I? <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, uh, you know who uh, Good Mythical Morning is, that would be probably. Uh, a couple of months ago, somebody emailed me, and uh, they were like, hey, we're interested in doing captions, but you know, we kind of want, we got to figure out exactly what it is. And we went back and forth, and they got a team together of captioners, and uh, just started uploading videos. And then uh, Rocket Jump emailed me. And we, it was pretty much the same thing, went through a back and forth conversation. It's pretty much, you know, just the same thing as what I just talked about, which is more of a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, awesome. Okay. <laughs> um, I make um, ASL music videos kind of thing, so all of my videos are already in sign language, except for one, which I captioned. But do you think that I should caption all of my ASL videos too? How many people here know ASL? How many don't? But there are people who don't know ASL here. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is something that speaks Australian? Yeah, Australian sign language. Good point. Keep going. The. Yeah, here's the thing. That's another misconception that all people know how to, uh, or all deaf people know how to sign. No. And also, sign language isn't universal, except for international sign language, but that's like a, uh, it's, a, it's, a it's a weird little thing, but it doesn't really count. But yeah, like every country has their own sign language. So, England and Australia. Is there, is there a comment to my comment? Okay. Um, and visually impaired people use captions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James would smack me right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I give you permission to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very, 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 very good point. But yeah, so like England, Australia, Canada, and you know the US. We all speak the same English language, dialect, different, okay. But England has British Sign Language, Australia has Al Alba, is that how you pronounce it? Okay, I'm not sure. Something like that. Oh, no, okay. But yeah, I'm showing a sign language. So we have the same spoken language, but the sign languages are completely different. So I would say definitely catch it. I'm just making it 100% of the support. I feel like something. Back in first. Kind of thing, but I would say 
going forward is a little for me. Okay, well, just take me personally. I would have that video. If I were watching your videos and I wanted to know, do I do I want the captions now for future videos or back? That's hard. <laughs> I have an idea while you're thinking. Some is better than none. The, I guess if it were me, if you were to do the one going forward, then I'd be like, heck yeah, and then backtrack as much as you can. Um, Steph Sanjati uh, on YouTube, she just started casting. And yeah, so she's kind of doing the same thing right now, doing the videos that come forward because that's what more people are going to pay attention to. That's where your audience potential is going to come in a lot better when the new videos come up. So yeah, I would start with that and then either backtrack to do all of them as you go if you want to, or yeah, maybe start with the most popular ones first because audience retention and you know, you want your time and you want time, really? You know what I mean. <laughs> target like every Tuesday, then people might go sample those and they'd know where they could find the caption one. I um hi thanks a lot. Uh, I, thank you by the way. <laughs> uh, I just had um like two similar questions. One for Rev or two for Rev. Does Rev when you do it do they caption like the sound effect like the what the door bangs will they do that as well? And the number two for that one is, does Rev uh, caption, like, if there's two people in the video, will it say, like, oh, this person said this, and this person said that, like, with their name? And then the last one, sorry, sorry this is a few questions. Um, I've captioned videos before, and I want to know, is there an easier way to sync things up instead of having to, like, literally drag by, like, time? Because sometimes, like, the captions will be double, and I want, like, one line instead of, like, two lines, and they just, like, sync up. Well, what are things that you can <laughs> I might have to ask you to repeat the second one because okay. I was like, whoo! But uh, as for uh, Red, yes, if I recall correctly, they will, uh, at least for me, they were that again. So I thought I saw somebody say it somewhere. Anyway, but uh, yeah, Red will uh, capture the sound effect. So if somebody's banging, ow. If somebody's banging on a door or coughing, that will be on there. If more than one person is talking, yes, yeah, they'll have like, if Bob and Bob and Amy are talking, then we have Bob in the pole and that, and then underneath it, Amy is talking. And can you repeat the second one? And then, uh, was is there an easy way, easier way to sync up the audio with the <laughs> captioning setup? Because it sometimes it takes some time, like the like one part will be synced up and the rest is like completely off, and you have to like drag it and just get do line by line. So, well, what are ways that you figured out? Oh god, no, yeah, like you have like, here's what's this, and then for some reason the next half is like all the yeah. way in, you know, China or something, which I, I still don't understand how that happens. But for, I think this is when it gets more technical. I have a friend uh, named Stanley who is a photographer. You might even be able to help out with this, but uh, I don't know. It depends. But um, there's more of some sort of program. Like, I honestly don't know what goes into this, but. Uh, I might have to have somebody answer the question for me and then I'll let you know. But if uh, like they time it with a special program or something, that's the only way that I know is a way to do it. That makes sense, yeah. But I just don't know exactly how to do it because I'm so used to like dragging a little bit. But I can ask my friend Stanley if you want to uh, tweet me an email okay. or something and then I'll ask my friend and then I'll send it to you. Okay. Because he's going to know more than me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then, sorry, okay. So, how, I have closed captioned a couple of videos, which I, I did because I was told that 
that was a good way to um, like have Google find your videos and stuff, so kind of a self-promotion thing. But I definitely want people who are looking for closed caption or um, material to be able to find it. Is that something that you recommend tagging, or how do I make sure the audience who's looking for closed captions um, content finds my work? Can they search <coughs> videos that are captioned, or? Natalie, would you be able to answer that question? Maybe I think. Um, the algorithm prefers videos that are captioned uh, as it stands right now because every single sentence that you say is metadata. But I don't believe you can search by captioned videos. You should, you should be able to. We should. I always tag my videos with captions. Yeah. Like I use hashtag with captions. The, so like the, when you when the, you add and then the Paul has you know the hashtag with captions you, then you go. You have to be careful with that though. Oh, oh. You, have oh to, you have to be careful with that because irrelevant information within your tags. Oh well, I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah. If irrelevant information within your tags will make those videos not appear uh, if it doesn't actually have anything to do with captioning. And if your videos are captioned, you should have a bottom of the thumbnail that has a CC icon, which is the only thing that you can find. That is true. Yeah. Thanks for the audience. I love this audience. This is not what I'm up to. What can happen? Um, also, I guess a way to do it is there is uh, on Tumblr, there's like this big old post that has uh, channels that have captions on them. Uh, if you want to tweet me your channel name or something, uh, I would tweet it on Twitter, you know, and then we can add it to the Tumblr post and then it's great. I like, when people tell me that they have a, ca a caption channel or this new video with caption, I'm like, okay, we're going to tweet it and I'm going to post about it and, you know, do this and that. So I would be more, to help, uh, more than happy to help you out on that front. I think I saw you first. Or, uh. Is anybody anywhere making a better captioning software? I mean, you might have. It's obvious that it's not, but boy, there's an opportunity for someone to make this and make a ton of money selling <laughs> it because the one on YouTube for a, a guy who has a hard time paying attention to his wife when she speaks for 27 years, <laughs> and I can hear, that captioning software is sometimes, it's just, uh, it's a chore. And so if, if anyone anywhere hears of it, if you have you heard of one that's coming up? I have no idea. Thank you. Uh, uh, here it is. Um, I, I can find out. I'm trying to find out, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, 15 minutes. I'm like, I forget my question. <laughs> I have an answer to his question. Oh, okay. Well, there, was there an answer or something? Whoever had an answer to the question, someone who was it? So, it was so, you. Okay. So, uh, there's a company called Naviance or Nuance. Nuance did dictate, it used to be Dictaphone, it became Nuance. They're in the business, like Dragon, they're in the business of turning audio into yeah, text. Right. And I also know that my phone interprets audio into text so much better than I do, sometimes. <laughs> That's a good idea. The person beside Paul. Um, so Amazon is also really good at captioning because uh, they have a like a new device called uh, Alexa, and she understands like spoken English a lot better than I think I do on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> so that's definitely improving. Thank you. Oh, that's what I have heard of it. Katie has a couple. Yeah, I remember my question. Um, is there a way to? Uh, put captions onto your YouTube videos while using your cell phone? Like, I wanted to do it this week for some videos that I have on my channel that I couldn't do last week, but I can't do it on my mobile from what I found. Do you know of any solution for that? 
I don't think I do. I think I uh, try looking, but yeah. I'm not really sure. I do most of my work on the computer. Yeah, so yeah. I'll look later, yeah. and then I'll treat you, and then we'll find out. Is somebody the same amount? Yeah, I have two questions. One, if you do the community um, sourcing captions, can, if they make a mistake, can you just edit their mistake and still use the majority of their captions? Yes, yes. Okay. There's a couple of people that have, uh, you know, hide uh, the word wrong or they spot it wrong, which is fine. Then just, you know, uh, it'll say um, edit. I don't know if you have to publish it before editing it. I can't remember right now, but either way, yeah, you just edit it and then, you know, tweak it a little bit and you're good to go. And my second question. Oh, you're going to say yes? Yeah. Uh, my second oh, oh, sorry, second question. <laughs> it's okay. Just my second question. I've tried to make an SRT file before. Are there any videos online on, like, how to format that? Because it just came up as, like, one chunk of all my text. And I got so confused. What program were you using? I think when I make an SRT file, it's usually straight from YouTube. I think I tried to do it on Notepad before, but, yeah, I couldn't. Find it here, or does anybody maybe know? Yeah, They're just plain text within the file. Um, you should be able to put in time code for the individual video. That's what I didn't do, so we didn't have to so, do that. Uh, it should be looking for line breaks. Um, that's usually what the YouTube investor is looking for. Okay, um, and then Paul right after I promise. <laughs> I have an answer for her, and then after that, a question. So if you um, put double enter after like a section you want as a whole um, on the video, it'll um, more than so, um, And my question is, um, sometimes when I catch my videos, the CC sign doesn't appear on it. So how can I mark uh, the video so that people will know? that I actually captured it. Yeah, I've had that problem too. I don't know why it does that. Answer? I, I always just put it in my title. Like I put brackets CC at the end of my title. Yeah, yeah sometimes it doesn't work for me either. Sometimes, uh, like when I have it unlisted, and then the caption is on there, and then they don't show up, and I'm like, really? <laughs> Like why? Like why? And, uh, and then sometimes when I then make it public, then it shows up. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, that's why in the info box I just always put, you know, this video is captioned. Uh, if you don't see it, uh, also uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes I still get people going, you know, caption your videos, and I'm like, who's the info box? <laughs> but yeah, sometimes it just doesn't show up. So just have that, and then hopefully, you know, it works. Oh, oh, I said, oh. <laughs> uh, in the situation where you are typing your captions into YouTube, the transcribe functionality, that problem where hitting a backspace makes the entire page go away, mm -hmm. there's a browser plugin called Lazarus. Mm. And it will save everything that you're typing, even if you go to another page and come back, you can re recover your typed text. What browser? Every browser. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of that again? Lazarus. Oh, Lazarus. L-A-Z-A-R-U-S. I say every browser. I found it for Chrome, uh, Safari, and Firefox. It's okay. Nobody uses Internet Explorer. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, can we ask questions that are related to you being deaf? As long as you're not asking me how I go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> um, with, uh, with being deaf, how is it best for a hearing person to approach you or other deaf people when you can't see us? Like, I don't want to, like, just walk up behind you while you're at a convention and, like, startle you. Right, right, that's a good question. Yeah, just, uh, really the best way to go about it is, you know, just, like, okay, here is person, walk, and then, you know, like, just, like, tap on the shoulder and then wave and tell person turn around, or at least if you want to, like, walk over, that's fine, like, you know, just make sure that it's, like, okay, I acknowledge that you are right here and don't start talking, like, as you come up, because then it's, like, you said ten words and it's, like, <laughs> oh, okay. That's what we're going to go back. And always, you know, like, type. For me, it's a mixture of somebody talking and then me guessing and then, like, typing. Okay. Like, all things together. So, just to underscore a part of your answer to that question, you're okay with strangers tapping you on the shoulder from behind, or would you really rather that they flanked you and got in front? so you could encounter them visibly before they touched you. Just answering for yourself personally as opposed to the nation of deaf people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really don't mind if someone just goes on a shoulder, just, you know, make sure it's on the shoulder and nowhere else, you know, okay? Because <laughs> <laughs> that much of here, okay? We always got to bring that up sometimes. But yeah, just, you know, it's like snap on the shoulder. I'm absolutely fine with that. Just make sure it's not like, you know, Really, really hard. Um, so this is the first panel I've been in where I've seen sign language translation and translation on the screen. Do you know if there's any uh, talk in the VidCon <laughs> for the VidCon uh, convention for having that in every single panel? We are trying. Yes. <laughs> there's a lot of discussion happening about it. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of discussion. There's no like official fancy talk, you know, in this building, like a panel or a workshop. John and Hank had the great idea. Hire me. But um, actually, uh, okay, if, I don't know if I can even make this little announcement, but um, after the disability panel and after we had, uh, this is what happened, we were supposed to have two light casters, one and a cell interpreter, at the disability on YouTube panel, and the one card for the audience, or for me, whichever one was supposed to be in here, so I don't know did not show up. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if anybody from uh, yesterday is here that I had to steal the card from. I, I felt bad about that since yesterday, but oh uh, gosh, but uh, apparently we got a promotion or some sort of thing to like, be an advisor or something to talk about that. I'm gonna thank you. And uh, yeah, so after this, when this is all over, with them to try to figure it out. I know that it's been a permit from last year when they had absolutely nobody except for here last year. But uh, apparently on the KMA stage is an ASL interpreter and a couple, maybe a few member arenas, I'm not entirely sure. So it's not perfect, but it's a step up and I'm hoping that they will have just at least in the main areas, the big main areas they will have a live capture and an ASL interpreter, so we're going to be in talks about that. And for every single panel, I'm not completely sure, but uh, at least for mine, and at least for yours, there's going to be one. They will be making sure that. God happens. damn it, they will be there. It <laughs> 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 will be like, no! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's see, it's only five minutes. I guess what, uh, okay, these two, and they're probably going to have to cut it. Paul. I attended the accessibility on YouTube panel uh, with the guy who designed oh, yeah. auto-generating captions. He talked up this panel, by the way, Ricky, um, and he said that when you go to the auto-generated captions and then correct them and publish your corrected version of captions, the corrected version of captions do go into the learning process to improve oh. auto-generated captions. Huh. So, so that's something to keep in mind. It's that's how it's getting better. Cool. Mm -hmm. oh. So we I can have that. Oh, that's that's something to consider. Cool, cool. And then person behind you. Besides like captions.
options and whatnot, what is another way you would say to be more involved in the deaf community? And besides, like, knowing ASL. Definitely going to deaf events, like, in person. That's going to be the best way to do it. But I know that there's not always, you know, a large community like in my area where I live. There's not a huge community, but, um, like, if you live in, say, Los Angeles, over here, why not? Just be like, you know, Los Angeles deaf events, you'll find a bunch of them in Los Angeles. Like, I got a whole community that I can even, you know, if you want to tweet me or something, you know, we'll figure all that out. Uh, but yeah, it's just like, you know, insert city here, deaf events, blah, 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 you know, go to them. And there will be a video coming up about this, but don't, okay, this is coming from me who does this, but don't be, you know, if you're like, I'm not fluent, I'm nervous, oh my god, they're gonna make fun of me, uh, just, it'll be fine, I promise you. I went to the deaf culture event in Toronto last week, wine was involved, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it all turns out fine, you get nervous, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be fine, they know that not everybody might be fluent, and, you know, mistakes will happen, but, yeah, and then, but like I said, not everybody has a deaf community, so, you know, online, you know, just try to make friends, and if it's really, really quick. Well, yeah, it's actually, as okay. somebody, okay. as somebody who took ASL in college, and I went to a few events, they are so supportive and so welcoming. So don't be nervous because they're going to walk me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, it, it goes back to what I said before when she asked if she can ask uh, deaf related questions. Just, you know, be smart about it. <laughs> That's the way to go. Okay, we, we gotta go now. Yeah. But uh, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for dealing with my room.